Hi again, it's Phil here from Revive My Ride. Today I'm going to show you every step and everything you need to know to replace the exhaust sleeve and clamps on your Volkswagen Audi car. This will include how to remove the old sleeve and clamp, how and where to measure to ensure you buy the right new clamps, and then installing the new parts. The exhaust sleeves are usually located under the middle of the car or towards the rear. So when I'm doing a job like this, I usually jack up the back of the car. So I start by placing wooden chocks in front of the front wheels. And then I jack on the diff. And then finally I place the axle stands under the rear suspension arms. If you're unsure how to do this, then I recommend you go check out some videos. And in the future, if I produce a video showing this, then I'll provide a link to it in the description. With that done, we can get under the car and inspect the exhaust sleeves. Exhaust sleeves are used to connect two separate sections of pipes, so in this instance the front section to the rear for each of these two exhaust pipes. As you can see, each sleeve has two clamps holding it in place. These exhaust clamps are really rusty, and in fact a couple of them have failed entirely. Just for reference, my car is about 10 years old, and we use salt on the roads in winter in the UK. So if it's the same where you live, then you may want to check yours. A couple of the exhaust clamps on my car had completely rusted through. And if that's the same with your car, then literally all you need to do is get a screwdriver behind the clamp and start bending them away from the exhaust and you'll be able to remove them really easy like this. Okay, so that's the first exhaust clamp done. And so all I'm going to do is do exactly the same with the second one. So again, just levering it off until I can get my fingers under and then bending it out of the way and pulling it free. This Jubilee clip here is just a temporary repair I had to do, so your car shouldn't have one of these. Now that I'm fitting new exhaust clamps, I don't need the Jubilee anymore, so I'm just going to remove it. Okay, so now all you have to do is slide the sleeve backwards and it'll release the front part of the pipe. You can just lower the pipe down to the ground then. And now, of course, the sleeve can slide forward again and you can remove it from the exhaust. If the exhaust clamps hadn't just pried off, then I was prepared to cut them off. And my first option was an angle grinder with a steel cutting blade. A good place to cut would have been just here next to the bolt on the clamp, because that way you don't risk cutting into the exhaust pipe itself. Another option would have been using a multi-tool, again with the blade that's suitable for cutting steel. Of course, if you go with any of these options, make sure you wear your PPE. So I'm showing safety glasses and ear defenders here, but you'd probably need to wear a good set of gloves as well. Here I'm just using a set of vernier calipers to measure the exhaust sleeve. It measured 60mm, so I know that's what size exhaust clamp I need. You can actually go under the car and measure this ahead of time to make sure you've ordered the right clamps in ready for the job. So I've got my new exhaust clamps here. They're made by Mikalore and the size that I used was 59 to 63 millimeters, which is the range that this clamp will cover. So it's worth mentioning that I also removed the second sleeve using the same method as I did for the first one. At this point, you could decide to replace the sleeves as well, but mine were actually in pretty good condition, so I've decided to reuse them again. But before I refit the sleeves again, I want to make sure I clean them up. A lot of this surface rust that you can see on the sleeves is actually from the clamps which had rusted away. And by the time I finished um, sanding, wire brushing, etc, I could see that the sleeves themselves were actually still in pretty good condition. There's a little bit of prep to do on the car as well. So here I'm just sanding the exhaust pipes themselves. And this is just to ensure that the sleeves slide over more easily uh, during installation. Also, one of my exhaust pipes dropped off when my exhaust clamp failed. So I have a little dent here on the exhaust pipe and I'm just going to straighten that out using some grips so that there's no restriction to the exhaust gas flow. Okay, now we're ready to put it all back together again. So here I'm just putting the first clamp in place, followed by the sleeve and then the second clamp. Now we're ready to lift the front part of the exhaust back up again and then slide the sleeve over it. Just make sure that you slide the sleeve forward enough so that it's just halfway between the front and the back pipes. I'm just going to spin the clamp around a little bit so that the tightening mechanism isn't on the bottom because otherwise when you're driving in the car speed bumps and other things you hit in the road might hit the clamp. So just spin it around by 90 degrees 
And then you can use a uh, quarter drive ratchet and a 10mm socket to tighten up the clamp. Just for reference, I fitted the clamps about 10 to 15 millimeters or uh, half an inch from each end of the sleeve. Okay, so that's the first exhaust sleeve done. Now all we have to do is repeat the process with the other exhaust pipe. As always, I'll provide a list of tools and parts in the description below. If you like the video, let me see a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my videos, then please consider subscribing. Okay, thanks for watching. Catch you next time.